When talking about COVID-19 nowadays, one of the most immediate and greatest risk is that of exacerbating current vulnerabilities, especially in terms of health. All vulnerabilities may stem from our age or medical condition, or socioeconomic status or our living environment. It is also the case for migrants, who on top of that may not be eligible or not have access to certain services such as health care, or who may face linguistic barriers and does not have the necessary information in the current pandemic. In terms of migrants' vulnerabilities, we think first and foremost of displaced population in crowded camps, living in insufficient sanitary condition, with insufficient access to healthcare, and where social distancing may not be feasible. But there are also others who are at risk. A larger share of migrants, those who don't have or do not have an appropriate health insurance and who have little financial means. Some may be forced to continue working despite the pandemic and despite the risk for their health. Irregular migrants may have even more difficulties in accessing certain services as support and care given by civil society organization have been forced to close because of the country's lockdown. Irregular migrants may also fear going to um, medical facilities because they fear being reported to the immigration authorities. Hence, our response to COVID-19 has to be as inclusive as possible so that migrants, as any other individuals, are not left behind. If you're interested to getting more information and analysis on the impact of COVID-19 on migration and mobility, please have a look at IOM's research analytical snapshots, which are available at 